standing by for engine start. The second umbilical now retracted. Engine start has been initiated. Turbo pumps to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 63rd Progress Resupply Ship, beginning a two-day trek to the International Space Station. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. Courtesy of uh, Roscosmos, uh, this animation uh, depicting uh, the progress and the Soyuz booster en route to orbit. One minute, 34 seconds into the flight, passing through maximum dynamic pressure now. The vehicle has gone supersonic. All parameters reported to be normal. Launch time was officially pegged at 11.23 and 57 seconds central time. 10.23 and 57 seconds p.m. in Baikonur. And we have uh, first stage separation. The Progress uh, and its Soyuz booster, 30 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, traveling more than 4,000 miles an hour. All structural parameters are reported to be normal. Good second stage performance. Coming up on the three minute mark into the flight. Everything proceeding normally. Five minutes, 45 seconds of powered flight remaining. Good second stage performance. All structural parameters continue uh, to perform as advertised. The progress uh, aiming for a precise keyhole in space to begin its, its flight toward the International Space Station and an arrival on Saturday. Four minutes into the flight, about uh, 37 seconds until second stage shutdown. Second stage performance is reported to be nominal. Pitch, roll and yaw, very stable, everything going very well. Standing by for second stage shutdown. Third stage ignition upcoming. We have second stage shutdown and separation, third stage ignition and launch shroud jettison. 
104 miles in altitude, 179 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Velocity almost 9,000 miles an hour. This stage uh, will burn for about three minutes and 15 seconds. Everything continues to go uh, very smoothly. Good third stage engine performance reported as we have passed the six minute mark into the flight. <laughs> All parameters reported to be normal. Third stage shutdown uh, and engine cutoff time calculated to be eight minutes and 45 seconds, just over two minutes from now. <laughs> the vehicle is very, very stable according uh, to launch controllers in Baikonur. Again, uh, once the progress uh, separates from the third stage, uh, control of the mission to the International Space Station for this vehicle will be handed over to the uh, flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov outside Moscow. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. About uh, a minute and a half of powered flight remaining. At the point of uh, third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation, uh, the progress will have reached orbital velocity of almost 17,000 mi miles an hour. With uh, additional engine firings to increase its altitude and to fine tune its path to the International Space Station planned later today and again on Friday. Coming up on the eight minute mark, All reports uh, from the blockhouse and Baikonur uh, continue uh, to be good. Nominal performance. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, about 25 seconds of powered flight remaining. Standing by for third stage shutdown. And we have third stage shutdown, spacecraft separation reported. Standing by for array and navigational antenna deploy.